Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Gantt chart. So as you can see right now, I am currently inside Excel with a specific data on my end right here. So if you want to post a video and copy this data, it's perfectly fine. So you can have some data to work with. Because the key point in making a Gantt chart or any other chart is of course having an organized data. Again, it is an organized data and not just any raw data. So that being said, I'm going to discuss with you the specific columns or rather parts of my data. For example, column one is a task. Basically, I just type this up. Start date is this when the start date of the task days needed. This is just going to be an estimate of how many days. And of course, this two right here has some formula that I want to discuss. So for completion, basically, it's just the work day formula highlighted with the B4 and C4. So technically, this is B4 and this is C4. That's how the formula works. Just an average. When will it complete? It's a reference by the two columns right there. Adjusted length. This is just V4. This one right here. Minus, of course, B4. Again, that's going to be D4 minus C4. And then I've just highlighted back to cover it all the way down. Same formula all the way down. So the first step in making a Gantt chart with this one is, of course, reformatting or rechanging the format for the start date. We need this in a number format and not a date format. To do that, of course, highlight it and click Control 1 on your keyboard. You should see this option, Format Cells, and click on General. Click on OK. Now we have a number format. Simply now proceeding is highlighting the specific data we need to create a gun chart. We just need task, start date, and adjust length. Now you might ask, how can I highlight this adjust length without highlighting the two sections right here? Basically, highlight them both and then hold the control board on your keyboard. And there you go. You just highlighted the adjust length without highlighting the two columns right here. Now to insert the Gantt chart right now, simply choose the top sections over the above, click on insert and click on recommended charts. Now the most used bar chart or rather chart type in making Gantt chart is technically a bar chart. More specifically, it's going to be a stack bar chart, this one right here. So for this video, we're going to use this one. What does it do with stack bar? And here we have it. We already have a bar chart in our end. So let me just emphasize it. Now, second step is moving back the start date format to a date format because we don't want this random numbers at the very bottom. So highlight it, control one, and then choose the date format and we should be good to go. Now we have a specifically start stack bar chart right now. So to make it look like a little bit for a Gantt chart, simply highlight this one, double click the blue. We're going to remove this. Okay. So choose this bucket, click on no fill, no line. Let's do it at the same thing. I think I did not click the first. Again, we need to highlight everything. Perfect. There you go. So that blue line right there, blue bar is gone. So this is a little bit somewhat a Gantt chart right now. To make it more a little bit Gantt chart, we need to fix this arrangement. As you can see on my data, secure location is the better top and then secure location right here is the better bottom. We don't want that. So simply fix it, click on it. And then you'll see this category is on reverse order under this option axis options. Simply click on it and there you go. We have fixed the um, arrangement. Now we don't want this um, overlapping dates. To fix it, simply choose this alignment orientation right there and make it a little bit more counterclockwise. There you go. We have now fixed a little bit, just enlarge it. Now to fix the font, simply lower down the size. Of course, this is by your own choosing. I won't hold you back with this one. This would be by your own preference. Now to lim eliminate that gap right there, we actually don't need that. We just need to specifically have a minimum and maximum order with this one. So for this, highlight the dates and then the minimum would be, of course, the start date of 8 to 2023. That would be 8 to 2023. Enter it and then we have it right there. Now for the little bit more editing, we have units right there. So as you can see, the interval is around 10 days apart. Let's make it seven days. Let's see how it works. So there you go. It's a little bit more organized right now. Now a little bit more actually right now it's a Gantt chart. So to make it 
uh, official Gantt chart, we need to change the tile right there. Now we can just manually type everything we have here, but a little bit um tip for you guys. Go to this section right here. That one on the top section, click on equal sign and simply highlight the specific tile of your data. That one right there, click on enter. So whatever thing, whatever type, uh, whatever word you type on the data sheet, it will reflect on your chart chart. Let's try it out. Chart type chocolate chip. Chart type chocolate chip, right? And then I want to remove this one, this legend, because I don't really need it. But if you want to retain it, it will be also perfect or normal for you guys. So basically, we've just created a Gantt chart. And I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.